Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Today we're taking a tech dive into tablets. Now, a lot of people ask me, and I covered this pretty much on my uh, Tech Dive TV help desk last week, what to buy when it comes to different things, computers, tablets, phones, you know, cameras, things of that nature. But today, specifically tablets. Uh, there are basically three main types of tablets. There's an iOS tablet or Apple iPad. There's an Android tablet, which is lots of different makers, Samsung, Asus, Acer, uh, HP, Lenovo, um, make Android tablets. And there are Windows tablets made by Microsoft, Asus, HP, Lenovo, again, I mean, a number of Windows tablet makers as well. But which one to buy? Which ones are useful? Which ones really get the job done? Well, again, Based on the information I gave on Thursday, take a look at your phone. What kind of phone do you use? If you use an iPhone, an iPad is probably a really good match. If you use an Android phone, an Android tablet is a really good thing to have because you don't have to relearn anything. Uh, let me talk first about the iPad. If you're using an iPhone, the same interface, the same operating system that's being used on the iPhone is also used on the iPad, same OS. So if you know how to use the iPhone, you automatically know how to use the iPad. Most iPhone apps will run on the iPad. Now, there are some iPad-specific apps that won't run on an iPhone because the iPhone is just too small. Now, in Android, the same again. The OS on the tablet is the exact same OS that's on the Android phone. So. If you can run something on your Android phone, the same app will run on your Android tablet. And you already know how to use it if you're using your Android phone. Now let's take a look at Windows. If you run a Windows phone, the OS that's running on the Windows tablet looks similar, but is not the same OS. So the same thing that runs on the phone won't necessarily run on the tablet or vice versa. See, that's where Microsoft made its mistake. It made operating systems that look similar, but aren't the same. Also, with a Windows tablet, and I just got one fairly recently, the applications that you can run on a Windows tablet are far, far less than on Android and Apple. An Android tablet has millions of apps. An iOS tablet has millions of apps. Many a time, those apps are the same across platform. But Windows has hundreds of thousands of apps, which isn't millions, okay? That's a lot less. I run Facebook Messenger on my iPad. I also run Facebook Messenger on my Android phone. Uh, I can't get Facebook Messenger for my Windows tablet. I run Snapchat because I Snapchat with my daughter on my either Apple iPad or my Android phone. I can't get Snapchat for the Windows tablet, not available. So there's a lot of, you know, applications that one would might want to use that just aren't available on Windows. Now, if you have a full Windows tablet that's running full Windows 8.1 and not Windows RT, you can install any Windows application on your tablet that you want. I'm running full Office on my tablet. But they also have full Office now for the iPad if you have a uh, Windows uh, Office 365 subscription, and I do, so I could run it there. But uh, as far as tablet apps, I mean, if you're gonna use your Windows tablet as a laptop replacement, and you're gonna get a keyboard for it, well, fine. But you can get a cheaper laptop, you know. So I, at this point, I can't really recommend using a Windows tablet. I can recommend using an iPad, I can recommend using an Android tablet, but Windows tablets, not quite there yet. Uh, tune back in maybe in six months, and if something changes, I'll let you know. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.